Now that we have covered Active Directory in our last video, we are going to set up a help desk machine. But now the next videos, multiple videos are going to be around Active Directory, help desk machine, staff users and machines because all of this is kind of integrated. You need a machine to access Active Directory and then you need Active Directory to work on those users and learn those type of skills. So we are going to spend more time in two, three and four section and I am going to create this in a flow so that you understand. So first we created a domain controller, then Active Directory is set up. Now that we know that in Practice Lab we can get into the Active Directory because it comes with Active Directory, we need to work on a help desk machine so then it becomes like a real world skills because in most of the jobs, companies do not give you direct access to the servers. They will give you a Windows 10 machine and you have to configure your machine to use Active Directory management tools. So how can we do that? Let's learn about Active Directory tools. So in this lab, we have PLAB DC, which is our Active Directory now. And this is every time you open this lab, you're going to have 60 minutes. Again, you can click on this 60 minutes right here to go back to 60 minutes if you're doing a full active session for a long time. Uh, everything that I'm going to show, we will, we will end it inside the 60 seconds. So after that, we will we'll move on to something else. When you come back, these type of things that you do in the 60 minutes in each module, they're not going to stay here. You just want to learn these skills and then move on to uh, additional uh, deep level skills from going into our website and then you know taking part one fundamental course through premium labs and doing those sort of skills is going to bas basically enhance uh, a lot more. So just keep your focus on whatever I'm teaching in this video and then after that forget about it and then uh, basically uh, come back and do some other things with these labs. So let's first confirm that we have an Active Directory running in PC uh, PLAB uh, DC01. We're going to open Server Manager. And then here we have tools. So the scenario in this is basically if a, if a company is going to hire you, someone before you is going to add your account. So if you were to become a help desk or IT support in a company, someone is doing this step for you so they will come to users let's say they don't have any other uh, management going on in active directory every users are over here so here they are going to right click and then they're going to click on new and then they will click on user now we're not doing a training on active directory yet we're creating and help this machine so this step is required later on we are going to learn about active directory more in detail so now we are going to type help desk. Let's say this is the help desk account that we need to use on one of these machines. So you can do your administrative task on PLAB when 10 machine, because that's who you are. We're going to click on next. And again, I'm going to keep things very simple because we're not teaching Active Directory. So I'm just going to put username and password. Because you are going to be the help desk in this company, this lab environment, we want to give you more rights. So right click on the help desk, go to properties, go to member of, and then add this user as a domain admin. And click apply and click OK. So this is how you are going to add a help desk account. So then this machine becomes more powerful with that account from Active Directory. So you can start managing the same Active Directory from this machine. This is the whole goal of this video. The goal is not to learn Active Directory at this point. So don't think too much about what I just did. Why did I give a domain rights and all that kind of stuff? Don't focus too much on this because we're going to learn about this later on. So now this is PLAB Win 10 machine. So if you log into this machine, you are already logged into an administrator account. So if you remember, I mentioned that if you want to remove uh, a auto logon, you're basically going to click on this and then click on this connect icon. And then this is going to remove auto logon. So this is why this is important step, because as if you remember in the beginning, I was telling you that when we connect here, it is using remote desktop services. So right now, if you type hub desk and you want to log in, now you see you logged in with your Active Directory account in PLAB DC01. This means that our Active Directory is currently working and you are the admin in this environment now. So you have a very powerful access because you're a domain admin. You're going to see this black screen. Just click agree right here 
and then now you have this machine with you now in the companies uh, sometimes other technicians or other technical people uh, sysadmins or you know another co-worker will set up your account uh, pretty much with everything but sometimes hey you know you may get a job and say you know all these things we just give your domain admin rights can you just put your active directory tools on this so then you can start managing our users because you're going to get calls very quickly right so this is where you need to understand this is a important skill that a lot of people may ask you in an interview do you know how to manage active directory from your windows 10 machine so to do that you need to basically click on start right click on start and then you're going to click on apps and features and here you are click on optional features now you see this is where your computer shows that what kind of features you already have in this computer windows 10 machine uh, you're going to click on add um, feature and here we will look for um, rsat tools let's go ahead and look for that you see right here it says rsat Active Directory domain services. So we need to get this tool installed on this machine so then you can then start managing your users from Windows 10. If this company does not allow you to go into servers, this is where you're going to come and start basically installing those type of tools. Um, and there are multiple other tools available, but for now, um, we wanna stick to the Active Directory for at this point. If you click on the back icon, you will also see the installation progress. All right, so now when you're installing this, this is what I notice about uh, Practice Lab because remember Practice Lab is, um, this sandbox is designed empty. It's, it, it doesn't have anything in it. So what we are doing right now, this was never tested for this type of skills, right? So of course, when you are using this lab, the, the DNS is pointing back to the domain controller and this is where the internet is having issues in this lab. So if you click on, let's say, Internet Explorer and you try to go to a web page, you see it's very slow or sometimes it doesn't even work. So how can we fix it? Because we need to download this from internet just for this one specific skills because we can always go back to the domain controller and learn anything in Active Directory there. But for now, what you want to do is right click on your uh, Internet Ethernet and then go to Change Adapter Option. Right click on the Ethernet, go to Properties and click on the TCP IPv4. Now, if you're watching me and you're like, wow, this is something so technical, then again, you're missing the fund foundational skills. For that, you need to go back to our first course that I showed in our platform. Once you join the platform, type part one over here and please take this course this is going to teach you a lot in very details very tiny money basics that if if you are getting to the stage where you're getting annoyed with this uh you know technical things that i'm doing then you're uh, missing a very foundational skills so if you come to here ipv4 go to properties and remove first of all keep a memory of this is zero one 192.168.0.1 is basically the IP address we need to come back because if we're going to be doing things, we need to come back to this. So we're going to put 8.8 8 like this. This is a Google DNS. Oh, can I move this? All right, let's move that. 8. And then we're going to put 8 in here. And that's this is because my mouse is using another recording. So that's why it's so slow. So you need to put 8.8.8.8. Click OK. And close this and then watch your um, um, you know installation is gonna go very fast after that if I open a web page and if I go to let's say I refresh this uh, you can see that web web pages are coming up very fast now uh, if I go back to our our status or uh, the the installation that we're doing uh, it probably went through by now or maybe it is doing fast installation right now so if you go back to optional feature Let's click on optional feature. Uh, you will see this is gonna go fast in a in a few seconds. So this is gonna this is gonna become faster. If it doesn't, then maybe you should cancel it and reinstall it. But this is gonna start working as soon as uh, the DNS start uh, uh, getting a little better. But let's say this is not working for you. You see how if it went fast, boom, just went there and it's gonna go fast. If it doesn't work for you, then maybe cancel and restart it again. But but give it some time because the DNS um, it does take a little time for it to to, to, to go like that. You can see it's going uh, pretty fast now. If you don't do that, then it's not designed for that. It's just not going to work because your internet is either not working because of the DNS, 
uh, and other issues that this labs were not designed but that's how you install the R set because once this is finished I'm going to show you that this is what we're doing we're pulling we're putting this feature just this feature on a Windows 10 machine so then you know that if you go a comp go to a company and they say hey open an R set tool so you're not like you know uh, this is not foreign to you so when the installation is completed, this is an important step. If you don't do this, this Active Directory tool will not work. Uh, for example, if you click on Start, where is the Active Directory? Just install. It's under Windows Administration Administrative Tools. So if anyone asks you in an interview, how do you open our SAT tools, uh, the Active Directory Management Tools, then this is where you basically come, click on Windows Administrative Tools in Windows 10, and then you click on Active Directory Users and Computers. If you try to open it right now, let's see, we open it, we're going to wait for it you're going to get this message. Now remember what you did before. We changed the IP address of this machine. This machine is being managed by this domain controller DNS. It has a DNS and we need to point it back. So if you go back to this domain controller and go to CMD, again, if this is again too, too technical for you, you have to go back to the fundamental course because in that we are teaching all of this IP config stuff and everything. So if you type IP config, this is the domain controller IP address that we changed it before. If we change this DNS, this, this computer does not know anything about this domain control. It cannot communicate with it anymore. So we have to go back because for internet, we did that. We have to do this in this kind of labs because that is the only way to, to do these labs. You can click on properties, come over here, go to IPv4, go to properties, and then we need to change that 192, 168, and then we need to put zero and one. That is the domain um, uh, IP address so now we're back to a kind of slow network but everything should work when we open Active Directory again so if I let's say do a refresh that's not gonna fix it so I'm gonna have to go back and uh, either I can try to start it this way or sometimes we, we may have to restart the whole computer for it to work again so let's just go ahead and try it there you go so I just tried that again and that error went away why did that went away because in the DNS we are pointing it back to the domain controller so it's being managed now so you can clearly see that from Windows 10 now you can manage a whole Active Directory and that is when we say that you have limited access people will give you even limited access inside this application but we will talk about that when we talk about Active Directory in this video the only thing you need to learn now is how to install RSAT. Now you know that you have confidence installing the RSAT on Windows 10 and you can play around with this. But let's say you leave this lab and after 60 minutes this lab is going to go away. Everything will go back to reset. Of course you don't want to be reinstalling these things again and again. So for you to learn Active Directory skills in the next video, we're going to use the, uh, the server then. So, But for now you know that that you you can manage an active directory from your windows 10 and that shouldn't be something very confusing to you because you know how to do that now so to make it easy now for your own learning we will go back to the server because every time you open the server active directory is already there so the next training that we are going to do on active directory now we are going to use um, the server and that's how we are going to kind of jump back and forth to different machine so for example if we have to install something on windows 10 like an application to manage something for users or whatever help this is doing and there's some tiny tiny applications for management purposes that's how we're going to go back and remove the dns install something uh, run it and 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 practice with it and then we will forget about it because that's a skill and once you learn these skills you will take that term let's say active directory put it on your resume uh, if it's something something different another application take that on your resume so for this video this is enough go ahead and practice on both of these machines and we will see you in the next